In this video, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough on how to use the Framio app. You can see right here, it does not cost any money, and basically, you can just connect this to your Framio frame. I'll show you how to do that in this video, and do the pairing code, and add photos, delete your account, account information, and more on, like so. But if we actually just open up the Framio app, you'll need to log in. You just need to log in to your Framio account. It doesn't have to be associated with your frames login. It can be any account and you can still add photos to frames. But once you're logged in, you can actually see your name right here, as well as your profile icon, account settings, and connected frames right here. And if you just click on this connected frames in the middle of the screen, basically, you can see all of the frames that you're actually connected to on this app. And if you do not see any frames and you want to add a frame to it, you can see in the very top right hand corner, there's a little guy icon with a plus next to it and you can basically get your frame code from this from the settings on your frame type it in and then click on ok to connect it from there or you can use the qr code but you can see right here once you've actually added a frame you can simply just click on the frame to modify it you can view all of the frame photos and you can even invite friends to your frame if you want to do that as well or remove it in the top right hand corner with these three dots right here and once on this page you can easily add edit change or remove any photos just on your frame you don't actually have to do it on the physical frame but you can see right here the frame is online if we just swipe back to this page it says it's online and if we click on these three little like this grid icon in the bottom middle of the screen you can see all of these photos just here on my screen. These are all of the photos in my camera roll, and you can simply add them to frames that you are already connected to. Now, let me just say, I wanna add this photo right here. You can add multiple just by clicking on the select option. You can see the select option will just show up like so, but you can basically select all the photos you wanna add, and then you can click on the next option right here. And you can see it'll send it to the frame that you actually want to choose if you have multiple you can actually deselect and select certain ones if you only want to send it to certain frames and once here you simply want to click on the next option and you can actually write a caption for this photo if you want to or all the photos that you're actually trying to add to your frame and once you've actually done that you click on the next option and you can see if you want the frame like if your frame is rotated in portrait mode you simply want to have it like this or if it is landscape mode if it is like vertical or diagonal you can actually set it like this now make sure it's actually fit to the frame which how you can do this is you click on the fit to frame option here if you do want it to be like this on if it is a portrait frame and then you can click on the send photo and it will simply add this photo to your frame you can see it says sent right there and you can easily view the past history just by clicking on this like icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen of all the photos that you've actually delivered to the frames that you have connected and you can always X out any of these or clear any of this history or just remove them from the frame just on this page like so. That's all you need to do to basically use this app. Again, it's basically really easy just because it allows you to connect your frame, modify, change any photos or add photos to it. You don't even have to be associated or nearby the frame. I'm basically like hundreds of miles away from the frame right now and you can still do this as long as you're connected to the internet. But that's all you need to do to use the Framio app. If you found this helpful, consider liking the video down below and have a great